Lisbeth Leroy here and I'm going to talk to you about uh, drone flutes. This is uh, the second in a series of uh, drone flutes and um, today I'm going uh, to show you uh, some of my uh, very long drone flutes, in fact two of them. And um, spring is in the air here in the Netherlands so I thought why not make a flute, flute review here, outside, in the garden? Phew! I'm glad I have this walking stick with me. 50 rounds in my garden and when I'm tired I just play music to reload my battery. Let's have a closer look at this walking stick drone. So this is my walking stick flute by Kenny King. It was uh, originally developed by uh, Brad Young and um, I believe Dana Ross also makes walking stick flutes and many other flute uh, makers of course. But this is by Kenny King, it's in um, tiger maple wood and um, it has some nice leather grip here and the mouthpiece is also very comfortable. Uh, the main flute mouthpiece is uh, blowing hole is protruding and the drone side is a bit lower so you can feel easily what you do when switching from one to the other. I'm quite small, so um, this is a flute in A minor. I would have loved a lower key, but then the stick would become much longer and uh, too tall for me. So take that into account when you choose a key, of course. What I also would love is um, a creative maker who would make a walking stick flute in two parts which you could separate when traveling and with, which you could uh, take easily with you in your uh, luggage on the plane. Because Holland is as flat as a penny, so <laughs> I don't use it too often, I don't take it outside with me because I have no need for a walking stick but um, when it gets hilly or in the mountains it would be ideal but then um, this one is not so fit for traveling unless you're traveling by car of course when playing this uh, walking stick flute um, in the beginning I was uh, experimenting with it to see what would be the most comfortable position and um, when you play it like this it's not so comfortable because you have to bend your head and your neck like this to play and also
also the weight uh, on your hands. So I found that this, when you're resting it on your shoulder, this is the most comfortable position. It goes like this. You can keep your head straight. You raise your arms a little. This way you divide the weight between your hands, arms and your shoulder, so that's very comfortable. So let's go to the next drone flute. Here's my second very long drone flute. It was uh, developed by Edwin Sota from Brazil and uh, the wood is cherry wood. And it's a beautiful flute to look at. He calls it the uh, ancestral flute and it really has that feel. Two eagles on both ends. And eagles as totem. Uh, this flute, you can't play um, the main flute single because it uh, only has one blowing hole. So you always play together with the drone side. Um, originally, Edwin developed it like this, without the corks. So the drone side is the, uh, the fifth in the scale, and the scale is E minor. And it sounds like this. Edwin to uh, make me some corks so that I would be able to play the drone in the root note of, um, of the main flute, so in uh, E minor, in the E. Um, and it sounds like this with um, the drone in the E. so awesome about this flute is that you can also play it horizontally as a harmony drone. Then of course you take off the corks, you've got three holes here and you use, you use the uh, top two holes here because it's a, it's a flute with uh, five holes not with six holes. So it goes like this. fantastic on stage and what's more you can use it as a single flute too you just take off the drone part and you put on the mouthpiece
This is a five hole flute and the advantage is that it is easier to play with the other side, the drone side, in harmony because the third uh, hole is covered. You can't make any mistakes by accidentally raising your finger here. Um, the disadvantage is that uh, when you play the single flute, your possibilities are limited. Uh, I mean, the possibilities in scales you can play, like with a six hole flute. So, more reviews to come. Next time, interesting scaled drones like uh, the Arabic scale, the Aeolian scale, uh, the Anasazi scale, and also, also a harmony drone flute. And then, uh, the fourth uh, video will be about my triple uh, drone flutes. So, many more to come. And, of course, if you all want to watch them, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.